In a lot of interoperability training and work, um, we started with the uh, building up our tent site together with the CPs and the BAS. In addition, we did the obstacles uh, for any incoming enemy uh, or adversaries. In addition, we have two timber bunkers and three swall huts. So we upped our manpower per tasking. Um, so we only came here with 60 units with the additional Marines. Instead of having six per site, we had maybe about 10 or 11. So we were able to increase efficiency that way uh, with, all, with everything we had to do. It's very important during this exercise, uh, primarily because every deployment I've ever been on, we've had joint uh, forces working together. So if we can't do it on an exercise, it's very hard for us to integrate on deployment. By integrating previously during exercises, we know what better to expect of each other and, and how to improve for the forward mission. With our modern warfare capabilities and enemy adversary capabilities, they have the ability for IDF, mortars, um, Anything they can throw at us, we need to be able to keep our troops safe, uh, regardless of the environment. So by being able to build these timber bunkers, they could actually t knock down these trees and build a, a bunker with, able to withstand an incoming attack. Um, some of the challenges may have been a little bit of logistics, but we also had to, uh, the logistics of fuel. Once we were able to get the fuel for the chainsaws, um, they were able to move forward quite efficiently. They had it up in about 72 hours. Other challenges would have been the weather, uh, with the storm cutting us off about every day uh, in some of our scenarios. 